Hey everybody, Marcos Vegas here with Manny Pacquiao who takes on Chris Algeri. November 22nd, back again in Macau, China. Manny, you're doing this whole press tour and I know it's nothing new to you. You do them all the time for your fights, but does it get a little stressful at all or does it feel like work now or are they still fun for you? No, I'm, I'm happy and it's fun. It's fun. Um, it's fun to, to do this. Looking at Algeri, he says that his jab is going to be able to neutralize a lot of your strengths. What do you make of that? It depends. Uh, it's not um, my first time to fight uh, uh, a tall like him. I've been fighting a tall, a tall guy and then I know what I'm going to do in the ring. Now in interviews I've noted that uh, you feel Algeri's good but you also stated that you think that he's okay. Why do you think he's just an okay fighter and not a great fighter? Well, um, there's a lot, there's a um, lot of great fighter. Why do you feel that Algeria is not in, in that category? I'm not saying it's not, it's not uh, in that category. Ca category, it's, it's good. It's yeah. nice. Looking at uh, some names, uh, Freddie mentioned that you might drop down 140 pounds to seek other fights. The name Danny Garcia keeps coming up. What do you make of Danny Garcia? I don't know. I don't know. I I I, I saw his uh, couple fights. You think he's good? You think it'll be a good challenge? Well, I, that's a there's a chance. Yeah. There's a chance. Yeah. Is that a, a goal that you still have? Is to be uh, undisputed, a uh, unified at 140 pounds? Is that something that interests you a lot? Uh -huh. The last time that I I. I fought in 140, that's a hot one. Yeah. yeah, that's when you were knocking people out as well. Freddie has mentioned that, that he feels you're a lot stronger at those weights. That's my natural weight, yeah. 140. Now I know recently you bought a, a few shares in 1FC, the uh, MMA organization out in Asia. Uh, what was your decision behind that and what's going to be your capacity with that organization? Just uh, to support the people who like that, uh, who like the 1FC. Uh, uh, I want to, to support them. Are you a fan of MMA? Do you like it or enjoy it? I watch um, a couple fights, but uh, not really like boxing. Well, I know you're friends with George, so... Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, Manny, uh, in the last few days, uh, news has come out from Freddie, uh, from Bob, regarding Floyd. And I know you're tired of talking about Floyd, and, you know, just mentioning it, it feels like we're going in circles. But do you feel that it's right for Floyd to claim that he's pound for pound the best fighter in the world and even at welterweight without having to fight you yet? Like what I said, um, it's a shame of a fighter to claim that he's a pound for pound or best fighter in the world and you're ducking some other box boxers and uh, some other fighter that want, want to fight you. And especially it's been known by all, all over the world by the fans. Freddie says he's showing his age that he's not moving as much as he used to. Do you agree with that? Moving, sir. Floyd, that he feels Floyd is not moving like he used to. That he looks old in fights now. Do you agree with that? Um, I have no comment. <laughs> Come on, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, one last message to the fans about this fight on November 22nd. Uh, November 22nd is going to be a good fight. Don't miss it uh, against Algeri. Um, he's undefeated. Manny, thank you very much. Certainly appreciate it. Goes down. Clash in Kotai number two in Macau, China, November 22nd. Manny Pacquiao, Chris Algieri, Marcos Vegas here in Los Angeles.